Hey folks, Kerrick here and welcome back to more Darksiders. In the last episode we handed in the Chosen Heart to Samuel. And in this episode I think we're going to have a little run round and see what we can manage to on Earth from behind those frozen crystal things. Hello friend. Goodbye friend. Where are you going? Hey, hey, hey! Shoot them in the back. Some may call it cardly, I call it sport. Doesn't do a massive amount of damage, but I suppose it's kind of good for range. As you can see, it kind of has trouble even with those. So I'm not going to be using it a lot, in all fairness. It's one of those things that you use whenever you can't quite reach with anything else. Oh, have I never been here? <laughs> no, I don't want Serpent. Oh, do you? Yeah, in fact, I do. This may be a wasted trip. I'm not sure if there were any in the choking grounds. Certainly we're some at Twilight Cathedral, so it's worth checking on the way. Fine. Just jump across. Choking grinds, choking grinds. I was going to say that looks a little bit crystally, but no, down here was warp gate, wasn't it? I think there were some over in the cave right next to where the gate was. As for the rest of it, I'm not sure there was any. Fuck you. More little skeletons. You do not scare me, little skeletons. Not at all. The only thing you're good for is actually getting some XP on this weapon. be bothered stopping to fight. Talking about XP on weapons, are we far off? No, not at all. Okay, which will bring us to level 3. Um, so one more level on the sword. It's not bad. Would be nice to be able to get full on each, but I very much doubt that's going to happen. Right. I know there's one around here somewhere. I knows it. Um, click here. Yep, I can see the frozen fumes coming off it. There we go. Give us access to the top. 
And there should... There we go. Be a frozen block that we can have. Yeah, looks like there's going to be a fight first, unfortunately. Oh well. Take it on the chin and deal with it like a man. Easy. Any more? No, nope. good. This looks good. Another shard. Worth the journey, I feel. Now what's up there and why can't we get up there? Can we? No. Oh, there's stuff up there. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Mind you, if we have some way to grip hold of that... Um, clingy stuff at the top. We can probably get up there, so maybe that's for another time. Well, at least we've, at least we've managed to get up through two of the puzzly bits. I think we can leave this quite happily now. And I think I might actually just do a montage of all the different areas in which you can get those ice blocks. See if you haven't to go through it all. As I thought, there's one down here. So we'll have that before we move any further. Ugh. An artifact. Oh well, I guess it's better than nothing. I don't know why you keep trying, bats. So if we carry on through, again, see if there's any more of those crystal things. This is the only problem with the game being the way it is. It's good, but like Zelda, you kind of have to go back. Pretty much go, wherever, go through everything you have before. Making sure you haven't actually missed anything. I'm pretty sure there wasn't anything. Oh fuck. That was clever. Wow! That was clever. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not anything up top. Just have a quick look through this building then we can use the serpent holes to make our way across to the um, Twilight Cathedral. Not 
Not entirely sure if there was one in here. No. Of course there wasn't. Don't be silly. Itchy-eyed. Right, Vulgrim, we're coming. Hello? Anyone home? Toilet Cathedral it is. There certainly was one outside. Yes, bugger. Did I hit no? Clever. There certainly was one outside near where Volgrim was. So hopefully we should be able to get that straight away. I also have a feeling there might have been one inside too. I'm not sure if anybody should quote me on that. Probably shouldn't quote me on anything ever in all fairness. Right. So Volgrim was this side. You've given the Indeed I have. Stop. Just stop. There we go. There's another one. No idea what's behind it, but... Really? A bunch of souls. Fuck me. All that way for so at all. We're not going to make it over there. But I think we'll have a quick look around inside the cathedral. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there may be one fairly early on. Right, well, that was a bit of a wasted trip, but a couple of souls was about it. Once again, we're going to use these. It's called in Gallo. No, not yet. Ground pass. Yeah. There are a couple here. <clears throat> Apologies if this one's a bit boring. Unfortunately, there are a lot of armor pieces and stuff behind things like these. So I am going to be going back every time I get a weapon that opens up as many areas as the Tremor Gloves do. Simply stupid not to, in all fairness. Right. Drawing past it is... And straight away. You've given the oh, I know I have. Well done. In fact, one less by shite. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. Oh, four thousand. Fuck, that would be nice. I'm not too worried about spending money on those just yet. I much prefer the sword. Oh, we've only got a couple left, haven't we? We could have three of those. Which ones do I like the best? And if we trade in those artifacts, let's see. That's not too bad at all. So that's us finished on the sword for now. That's very good. Uh, I'm not really going to bother. I 
I don't think I'm going to use the gloves that much for combat. I think we might actually just wait and get that wrath... Wrath short, Jesus. Get the impact rounds. We might be lucky enough in that we can pick up a few... Souls along the way and finish that up. Yeah, you can sort off too. And you made it. How do we get over to those? Was that just a shortcut? Because I have a nasty feeling it bloody was. I guess I need to go back and take a better look at that because I have a feeling this might have been a wasted trip. Yeah, I have a feeling you need to use that plus that glowy thing to get across because there's nothing on the other side. And if I remember right, that was the area where I swam up and ran into those crystals. Which makes me think that there's probably nothing here for us yet. So fuck it, we'll take the long way back. Double check that there's nothing in those tunnels. I make our way back to central area where we can actually make a start on going towards the Ashlands. Nope, not fighting you. Not a chance in hell. You ain't worth it. Yeah, fuck off. You can too. Oh shit, what am I doing? Ha! Idiot! No! That's the one I want. <laughs> okay, fair enough. It's nice to see in this post-apocalyptic wasteland that they still have electricity. Because hey, obviously somebody's running the power stations. Right, back to Scalding Gallo. There certainly are a couple of... Down you go. Ice blocks here to destroy. Which should give us access to the next area. Just make our way along here. I can slash whatever the hell comes our way. Choppy, choppy, choppy. And down they go. No! <laughs> Fuck me! That was close. Alright, you're gonna have to forgive me because I didn't save properly on my last save point. Which means I'm not sure whether I've got the armour piece in the middle. So I'm just going to quickly grab it. 
get both sieves up to the same point. a bit better. What are the... Ch yep, missed it. Okay, so I haven't mentioned it. <laughs> if I haven't actually mentioned it before, there's an Abyssal Armour piece there. You can obviously just float across with your normal double jump and your wings. I may have mentioned it in an earlier video. The C file that was using I pretty much fucked up. And because it was so long ago, I had to go back and restart the game and kind of get it to the point where the videos were at. Which means there were a couple of small discrepancies, that being the main one. The rest of it was pretty much the same since it was like a previous save that I'd done. One of the good things about YouTube is you do tend to save quite a few times on the same account. So anyway, now we should be back up to date. And before we move on, I'm going to cut the video off here since it's been running long enough. I've been Carrick the Pally, this has been Darksiders, you have a good evening.